Hey everyone, I'm really excited that you've joined us at our Open 5G event. Right now, I hope you can feel the momentum that's pushing our ecosystem forward together as a group of collaborators and innovators who are reshaping the future of what's possible. Emerging cloud technologies have many industries beginning to reimagine what they've been doing for decades. Together, we are helping to reshape and amplify the economic and social impact of open platforms and new technologies. In other words, service providers are the spark that is lighting up the collective imagination of the world. Here are just a couple of examples of recent progress defined by cooperation and partnership. Telenor Sweden's Edge Computing Solution, which was developed in collaboration with Intel, Dell, and Red Hat, is set to address requirements for storing protected information, for example, data about citizens, while also meeting the ultra-low latency and mobility demands of next-generation IoT solutions. It will open the door to regulated entities streamlining their operations and creating more profitability. Cable Lab's new 10G lab environment embraces open and co-compatible configurations and offers an example of successful vendor collaboration. In essence, the 10G lab environments gives participants the ability to deploy instances of 5G, Doxis, and other applications at the edge with vendors configuring their cloud-native 5G network stacks into a multi-tenant, converged access, and private cloud setting. These initial steps serve as both the catalyst and the realization toward the goal of enabling any workload to be co-located on infrastructure serving the application. Ericsson and Red Hat are working jointly to validate cloud-native network solutions. The goal is to ensure that service providers can deploy faster and focus their energy on differentiated 5G services that add more value for customers. Ericsson's dual-mode 5G core combines evolved packet core and 5G core network functions. There are early commercial operations carrying live traffic running on Red Hat OpenShift with larger scale commercial availability targeted for late 2022. Lastly, I'll point to an example that represents how the foundation of 5G can expand the opportunities for telcos while also helping other industries transform. We've recently announced a joint partnership with ABB to augment its process automation capabilities and connected edge platform for industrial software applications. Our collaboration enables ABB to offer single consistent application platform from single node systems to scaled out hyper-converged clusters at the industrial edge. All of this simplifies development and management efforts for ABB's customers. None of these successes would be possible without bold ideas and partnership. I wanna share with you a story about a person some of you may have heard of. Paul Farmer was an American doctor, humanitarian, and public health pioneer, most known for his founding of Partners in Health. His organization used novel community-based treatment strategies to deliver high quality healthcare in resource poor settings around the world. He and his teams would go into countries that others would not, such as Haiti in order to serve the underserved and help them build a better future. He wrote a book in 2013 called To Repair the World. And I believe there are two relevant points that all of us should consider as we think about our future. First, Farmer said that it's really important to counter what he calls failures of imagination. The successes of partners in health, as illustrated in his book, were able to happen because he believed in setting big, bold goals, pursuing a higher cause, no matter how many others said it couldn't be done. And his second point is that those bold goals could be achieved only if people worked together in pursuit of that higher cause. Farmer wrote, as you seek to imagine or reimagine solutions to the greatest problems of our time, Harness the power of partnership. So let's talk about partnership for a second. It's a word that certainly can mean different things to different people. As Farmer cautioned in his book, partnerships are not always easy to maintain. Often competition rules when collaboration should prevail. To me, joint objectives and goals, a commitment to transparency and accountability and consistent communication and collaboration are essential building blocks. For Open 5G attendees, 
This type of collaboration can help overcome challenges facing us today, such as interoperability, connectivity, and integration that are associated with large-scale cloud deployments. Let's face it, the world is a complicated place of competition and cooperation. Looking at the list of speakers and organizations on the agenda, there's probably more stories of surprising partnerships than one might think. And Red Hat will always play in this space. Over the years, in fact, we've gotten comfortable being uncomfortable and going into partnerships of all shapes and sizes. And I've realized that the unexpected and unknowns in such partnerships are as much of an opportunity as they are a challenge. Red Hat's roots are in open source communities, and that spirit of collaboration and openness continues to this day. It's an understanding that a community of people from all walks of life and countries who are united in purpose can change the world, like Paul Farmer did. And we did too. According to Forrester Research, open source software is found in nearly 99% of audited code bases today. So it stands to reason that an open ecosystem of players who share a common objective is critical to taking advantage of an open platform to build the future we want. It's a future in which we can collectively overcome those near-term challenges I mentioned before, interoperability, connectivity, and integration, and then go after longer-term challenges, such as helping to build a more sustainable future. 5G, edge computing, AI, all of these important areas are still changing and evolving, which means that the collaborative efforts all of us are working on today will determine what's possible tomorrow. Now, let me be clear. We've got plenty of work ahead of us, and we need to move faster. Let's look at a few of those areas where we need to come together. Leveraging a common platform. The evolution of the cloud and hybrid cloud, the rise of hyperscalers, and importance of enabling developers to more easily write code for the hybrid cloud are important trends, which means that a common application platform is really critical. Once you've done that, customers get flexibility to build the right solutions for their needs and adapt as those needs change. You can ensure regulatory compliance. There is no one-size-fits-all platform due to the regulatory compliance complexities. Therefore, public and private clouds will need to coexist, and security will continue to be a top priority wherever organizations' cloud-based workloads run. And lastly, with a common platform, you can deliver a highly available experience in the hybrid cloud. This means ticking the boxes around network availability, performance, scalability, security, and manageability. All of these are highly dependent on platform software and applications that have been fully tested and certified to run on that platform. Generating new opportunities for 5G. Our customers are keen to deliver on new 5G capabilities that include faster speeds to deliver rich content and greater immediacy for latency intolerant services, often found within public safety, healthcare, and industrial control environments. Unlocking these new opportunities requires a network transformation that shifts from data pipes to a services platform, simplifying ecosystem solutions. We need to commit to standards that bring the value of disaggregation to customers without the potential technology headaches and challenges. Through efforts like ORAN, we can unlock improved efficiencies, increase healthy competition, and in the end, advance more innovative solutions faster for everyone. So as we look forward together, I wanted to also mention some cool opportunities. First up, there's ION Global Forum. ION stands for Innovative Optical and Wireless Network. The forum's objective is to create next generation communications and infrastructure technology. This network can provide advanced capabilities built on low power consumption and ultra wide bandwidth with data and AI as the central actors, enabling a future of intelligent services based on cutting edge all photonics networks. This work is really exciting because you can see how this ecosystem of partners is acting as a catalyst for technology innovation and exploration of new use cases. If you're interested in hearing more, be sure to check out the technical deep dive track on AI integrated communications and cyber physical systems for core, edge, and cloud environments. Second, ESG and sustainability. An IEEE study found that telecommunications companies are some of the biggest consumers of energy. Lots of consumers are expecting the companies they do business with, including service providers, to find additional greener sources of energy. Of course, 
Being more sustainable and reducing energy consumption is a great way to decrease expenses. This is an area where we need to be bold to not suffer failures of imagination, as Paul Farmer put it. No one company is going to be able to solve this by itself. I'd like to mention an open source project named Kepler that we're working on with others to capture power use metrics. Kepler stands for Kubernetes-based Efficient Power Level Exporter. Kepler's main focus areas are reporting, reduction, and regression so that we can understand and ultimately curb energy use. It's a small project right now, but it proves the old saying that you measure what matters. And this is something that really matters right now. Third, open source. Open source propels innovation. It allows the rapid evolution and adoption of technologies and services. And open source provides increased transparency and neutrality. These are critical when trying to build relationships with many different stakeholders for the creation of multi-vendor networks. So I ask you to get involved in an open source community. You can shape 5G and sustainability projects and discussions. Today, the reality for all of us is that the combination of 5G, cloud, and edge computing will lead service providers and many other industries to dream up and deliver innovative services, applications, and benefits never thought possible before. The only way to get there is with each other, and we will get there together. Thank you.